Hey, what's going on guys? Comic again Z here. In this video, we're going to write a simple script to record whatever happens on your desktop to a video file using Python, OpenCV, and PyAuto GUI. So if you're interested, without further ado, let's actually start writing some code. Okay, so first we need to import some packages. So I can say import CV2 to import OpenCV, then from CV2 import video writer, and this is needed to be able to uh, write the video file. And also we need video writer for CC, which is the video codec that we're supposed to be using. Then I want to import by auto GUI, it's needed to make screenshots. I want to import this as PG and also I want to import NumPy as NP to be able to convert the raw, uh, the raw input uh, taken from this by uh, taken by this by auto GUI uh, to the uh, OpenCV comfortable uh, data type. And also bear in mind that by auto GUI is a cross platform app, so. Uh, uh, depending on the operating system you're currently on, uh, it would need uh, some different backend. I'm on Linux. I'm using Scrot, which stands which stands for screenshot. Uh, it's a command line utility for Linux to take screenshots. On Windows, this might be different on Mac as well. But if you if you run this and it would give you, give you an error, you will know what exactly you need to install. Okay, so I hope it's clear. And now let's actually now it's time to take a screenshot. So. Uh, Let's create the screenshot variable. So th this is the most interesting line, the most important within the entire script, I would say. So the the most uh, essential part is to say pg dot screenshot. However, we can't display this using Python OpenCV uh, window. So first we need to convert this to numpy array. Okay and then uh, we need to adjust the color so i can simply say cv2 dot convert color and for this uh, for this kind of array i need to use cv2 dot color uh, rgb to bgr okay so this is kind of it and now we can display display screenshot uh in a window so i can simply say uh cv2 dot image show and let's call a window screenshot and let's try and display our screenshot here okay and here just make all the cleanups uh okay so cv2 dot destroy all windows okay and also uh wait for let's say just escape condition okay so cv2 wait key and zero to wait for whatever key being pressed okay now let's open the terminal in the current working directory uh sorry yeah okay yeah let's open the terminal and by typing python3 desktop.py i hope to see the screenshot appearing uh i'm sorry python3 desktop okay perfect so here is the screenshot it's quite pretty big because uh, we have. Uh, I'm doing the full size screen screenshot. Okay, but I hope I hope it's clear. So the next thing to consider, we need to do this in an infinite loop. So here we can provide our main loop. So I can simply say while true, while true. Okay, and now all of this kind of actions would be repeated so here I just change this keep condition to if 
So let's point this to say escape key and uh, 27 is the key core code for escape key and in this case we want to break out of the loop okay and yeah I think I think this should be well it would, it would now uh, give a horrible recursion a recursion effect a recursive effect but anyway uh, let's have a look okay so yeah uh, you see, like it goes for recursion because it just renders the screen, but this is okay. This is exactly how it should be. Uh, we're not gonna be displaying the window during the actual screen recording. So this is just for the purposes of demonstration that we actually do have our screen being recorded here. Okay, so uh, I'll just disable this uh, line later on. Okay, so we actually don't need this uh, screen recording and yeah, we won't actually need this escape condition as well, but for now, let's just uh, drop it as is. So now we need to uh, create uh, create an output video stream. Okay, the stream was supposed to be right in our frames too. So let's call it just video equals to video writer and a bunch of parameters. So first, a file name. So let's call it desktop.avi. Then, then I need to specify the codec. So I'll use video writer for CC and let's stick to uh, MP42, for instance. Then the frame rate. Uh, well, it's a long story regarding the frame rate, but bearing in mind a few facts, including the fact that I'm currently recording this video, I'll use the frame rate equal to seven, uh, to just not to overload the processor, because I have quite a pretty weak computer. So uh, let's stick to this sort of a frame rate uh, for now, and the. Uh, size of the video it, it would be the resolution the current resolution of uh, my screen so 1366 by 768 so this this is the current resolution of my screen uh, in your case you need to specify your own resolution if you don't know the resolution you can say pg.size and the function call and in that case you can uh, you can get your own uh, screen resolution okay so yeah, actually, so here down below, we want to release the video stream and I can simply say video dot release and the year. Uh, we actually want to write video frame and I just say video dot write and the screenshot as an argument and if I did everything properly then it now should be capable of writing the file uh, to the current working directory and well, let's actually have a look if it works so yeah desktop.avi has just been recorded so let's just move the windows let's close this one okay let's go to somewhere okay try to run some chess it gives errors, who cares? Okay, so, okay, I think this is it for the proof of concept purposes. And well, let's just stop the script uh, in a brutal way, but that should be just literal enough. Okay, we have the file, so let's have a look at the output. Okay, guys, so it seems like the screen has been recorded here. Okay, if I just, uh, so here is the video so here is the video okay so this is kind of it well, okay so before we end uh, I need to say uh, a few more more words uh, in regards to the frame uh, the frame rate issues so it's it's a big it's a big problem to say at least and uh, there are lots of tutorials on how to re record uh, the screen using Python and uh, PyOdo GUI 
and all the all of those tutorials has this exact issue uh, so the problem is the frame rate so let's say you said here like 25 it wouldn't be too fast but the problem is that the actual frame rate that is provided by uh, by this line on my machine it's around only seven frames per second and that's the reason why I use seven here so it's gonna fill for the further improvements and again like uh, probably Python is not the best ever choice for doing this and probably just uh, uh, finding the faster way of writing uh, this uh, the, the of taking screenshots would it would, in, would increase the performance so if I find a better solution I would I would be happy to make a tutorial on how to improve this frame rate but this was just a bare proof of concept so I hope it was useful and again like it's just for didactic purposes just to give a general idea of how to use the video writer and how to source uh, certain images as as an input well, okay guys so this is it from my side thanks for watching until the next time and take care